Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hancock with Beyond You Coaching. Do you ever worry about what someone might think of you or what they might say behind your back? If you do, you're not alone. Nearly everyone has worried about what someone will think of them at some time or another in their life. Today, I wanna to address this concern, explain why we feel this way and what we can do to free ourselves from this burden. First of all, it's important to understand that the fear of being judged is a universal fear. This fear comes from living a life that is superficial. What do I mean by superficial? Well, when we think of what we are, we think of our labels and identifications, the accumulation of experiences that have formed a sense of self over time. We form a view of ourselves through these accumulations and live in accordance with these experiences. But if we never go beyond these experiences, we will forever think that we are in fact our past and our projected futures. After all, we define ourselves by our stories, but we are not our stories. If we were to go beyond our stories and touch a different dimension, then we could gain a different perspective of what it means to exist, a dimension beyond time and space. In this timeless dimension, we would experience freedom, freedom from the burden of having to be someone. Because whether or not you like the idea of who you are, having to maintain a rigid personality is actually a heavy burden. Maintaining a consistent personality with rigid belief structures is always the ego. Whether you identify as brilliant and successful or depressed and lonely, it doesn't matter. The ego is always bound in time and relies upon the past and future in order to exist. Therefore, being someone is always contingent upon beliefs and perceptions, which of course is just another way of saying having a personality. So this is what I mean when I say you will always have a fear of people judging you if you continue to identify yourself as the superficial personality or ego. Your personality is in fact simply a construct. It isn't real. What do I mean by real? Well, what is real doesn't change. Your personality, of course, changes moment by moment, year to year, with different people. It may be strong or weak, or become mellow with age. But it always changes, and therefore isn't real. Now, if you only identify yourself as a superficial personality and live your life on the surface of being, you will always be vulnerable to what others think of you. You will always be at the mercy of their opinions and criticisms because what you think of yourself is not in fact real and is always changing. If you're always changing, then one minute you can be strong and self-assured and the next minute you can be weak. If you believe what others tell you, you are subject to their opinions. But what happens when you begin to move from the outer world of labels, titles, name and form to that timeless dimension that I spoke about earlier? What happens when you enter that dimension that is boundless, universal, empty, and at the same time, everything? Well, you become less of that burdensome personality and more aligned with your true nature. Your true nature is absolute freedom, joy, bliss, and clarity of being. In order to move from the superficial dimension of ego personality to the boundless dimension of limitless freedom, you will need to create distance from the body and mind. To create a distance from the body and mind, you need to establish a regular meditation practice. Meditation is the stilling of the body and mind to an elevated state of conscious awareness and presence. When we meditate, we experience a state of consciousness that is beyond the mind and body. If you consistently meditate every day and touch this timeless dimension where the burden of personality has been relieved, you become more of your timeless essential self rather than the limited small egoic self. When you embody a state of consciousness that is free from the superficial and limited ego, then you're no longer worried about what anyone thinks or says about you. How could you be worried when you know that your personality is only a mask you wear to walk in this world. When you create enough distance between your body and mind, 
you can choose to wear whatever mask or personality you want because you know the ego is just a tool that you use to navigate this physical world. As Sadhguru says, whatever you accumulate can be yours, but it can never be you. So do yourself a favor and get in touch with your natural state of consciousness that timeless state of conscious presence that has no labels, names, or form. The more you touch this dimension, the less you'll be identified with your limited personality and the more joyful and blissful you'll be. And this is how you stop worrying about what others think of you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it with someone who could benefit from knowing what meditation can offer them. Also, let me know in the comments below what questions you have or if you'd like me to focus on a particular subject for my next video. I read all of your comments and I'm always grateful to make content that is useful and appreciated. But if you're new here and you're interested in learning more about the mind, personal growth, and higher awareness, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.